Hello everyone, my name is Alexei and I'm a freelance translator. Uh, in my course, I want to share my opinion about uh, SDL Trader Studio, the SDL Trader Studio application. Now, in general, I'd like to say that all the translation, all the computer-aided translation tools are, are subdivided into two groups. The first one is the applications that actually do the work for the translator. You don't ever even actually uh, have to become a translator in this situation. All you do is just you copy the text, some text, and you paste it into a window of the application, and you probably press some translate button. Uh, the result is usually some automated translation text, which you would have to run through and edit it, and usually editing might take quite a while. Uh, so I think that uh, we, being professionals, need to use some um, specialized kind of applications that do not do the work for the translator, but instead optimize his work or her work and let us and let us benefit from, from using this application. This is where SDL Trader Studio belongs to. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is the main difference between SDL Trader Studio and any other automated translation kind of application. Uh, now, before you buy yourself a SDL Trader Studio license, you might have, you might be um, willing to test it. For this, you need to go to the sdl.com website, which is the website of the company that produces this application, and uh, you might go straight to to the to the bottom and select as the Trader Studio as one of the products of this company. And uh, as you go to this page, you'll be given this download free trial button. Uh, as you press this button, you'll, uh, you'll be given a form to fill in. And after it, the company, this company, will uh, provide you with a 30-day trial of the application. I think this is quite enough for us to try it and to see whether we want to use this application or not. So I made, made this decision of using this software for about 10 years ago. And I should say that uh, for these 10 years, the, the application has evolved a lot. And these days, it offers us a great number, number of features uh, that speed the process of translation up and let us actually simplify it. Yeah, so to me, SDL Trader Studio is a simple, clear, and adjustable interface, uh, plus a single interface that lets us translate a great number of file types. Uh, this, <clears throat> this application also offers us a two types of dictionaries that we can create ourselves to uh, simplify and to speed up the, transla the translation process. The first dictionary would be, dictionary would be create auto-suggest dictionary, this option. Uh, you would use this option to, yeah, you'll create your own auto-suggest dictionaries which are meant to uh, simplify the process of typing. So as you type, you'll be given different suggestions uh, by the application and all you have to do in this situation is simply pick a match and make a decision whether to use it or not. Same as this terminology management uh, feature, uh, which is a different uh, different application in the SDL Trader Studio package. Uh, in this uh, application, you'll be, you'll be creating um, your own user dictionaries and you'll be adding those dictionaries to your translation projects. Uh, your, these dictionaries will be also uh, run by the application and any matches found during your translation will be, will be offered to you and you'll be able to um, use, uh, pick those um, matches or not. This is up to, up to user. Plus, uh, this new uh, version uh, of uh, software called Studio lets us add a great number of translation memory files to our project and translate a great number of files at a time as well. Uh, plus, the very, uh, the very term translation memory means that once you translate a sentence and save it, uh, you won't have to ever translate it again. Uh, it'll be saved in a, in a single, in a separate uh, translation memory file, and uh, you'll be able to to benefit from that and use it in future for different purposes. Uh, so <clears throat> I should also tell you that uh, you probably remember using Workbench, Translator's Workbench uh, window, which is quite an old version of SDL Trader's applications. In this case, uh, you will benefit from being able to edit a great number of sentences at a time, unlike it was in uh, Wordbench. And uh, you will also have 
uh, probably no problem, no, uh, yeah, no problem with saving your target files as you complete translations. Uh, you might remember the situations when, where you would uh, actually have, uh, you would actually do a translation, but in the, at the final end, you might have, might be given different uh, errors by the work by workbench saying that a, a problem occurred trying to save your your translation. Uh, you would also be usually given a uh, some some number of of the error, and you would have to go uh, to the web to actually find what the problem was. Well, <clears throat> I should say that after I started using the SDL Twitter Studio kind of applications, I didn't uh, have ever since that um, any problems with saving my target files, which saved me quite quite a lot of time and uh, makes the process quite efficient. Uh, so <clears throat> I think that probably this is it for the introduction uh, and uh, in my next video we will start uh, We will learn what the main interface is and we will run through the main features of the application and see how it works